Rome is one of the most popular destinations in the world and for good reason. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the best things to do in Rome. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So the first thing you have to do whilst you are in Rome is visit the Colosseum. Of course, this list was going to start with the Colosseum. You can't visit Rome without heading to this renowned and iconic landmark, which was constructed between 70 to 80 AD and at its peak held around 80,000 spectators. The amphitheatre was once used to hold gladiator tournaments and other forms of entertainment during the Roman Empire. You can now take a tour of the Colosseum, learn about the history and appreciate the famous structure and ancient architecture. The Colosseum is open every day except for Christmas and New Year's, with the Colosseo Metro Station being the easiest route to get to this attraction. Buy tickets online to avoid the long queues or opt for a guided tour. Located next to the Colosseum is the most important Roman ruins in Italy, the Roman Forum. This is an ancient site of Roman ruins that was once the centre of Roman life and includes temples, arches and squares. You can purchase tickets for entry to both the Forum and the Colosseum, but make sure you allow plenty of time to explore and wear comfortable shoes. Next we have the Pantheon. As one of the most preserved ancient Roman buildings in the world, the Pantheon is one of Rome's most famous attractions. Constructed in 118 AD, this monument can be found in the centre of Rome in the Piazza della Rotonda. Next we have St Peter's Square. Ever wanted to visit a tiny country? In Rome you can do just that. Head to St Peter's Square to discover the Vatican. This is an independent state and is one of the most important religious sites in the world, with St Peter's Square being home to many significant events. Appreciate the beautiful statues of the religious figures and previous popes before visiting St Peter's Basilica. Next we have the Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain is one of the most famous fountains in the world. There are very few fountains that are as lavishly decorated as this. Constructed in 1762, the fountain pays tribute to the Roman god Oceanus, who is interpreted in the fountain riding his chariot. It has become a tradition to throw coins in the water for good luck, but doing so during the high season can be a struggle. This is a very popular fountain, so get here early. Then we have the Spanish Steps. Whilst you're in Rome, make sure to head up the 135 Spanish Steps, connecting two popular squares together. At the top of the steps, you will find a large crucifix obelisk and the Trinita del Monte Church. At the bottom is Piazza di Spagna, home to plenty of stores and cafes. Spend an afternoon exploring this area, seeing the sights and taking plenty of photographs on these famous steps. So then we have the Vatican Museums and Sistine Chapel. The Vatican complex of museums also includes this famous chapel, meaning exploring this area is a must. The museums are home to a variety of classical and historical artwork which has grown over many centuries, now holding 70,000 pieces of artwork. You can get yourself a dual ticket, meaning you can visit the Sistine Chapel, one of the most renowned religious chapels in the world. This was extensively restored in the 1400s with stunning ceiling artwork and detailed decorations adorning the walls. Next we have Piazza Navona. Built in the 15th century, this is another popular site in Rome. Not far from the Pantheon and Trevi Fountain, the square is a great place to enjoy a stroll, especially in the warmer months. Here you can find artists and street vendors standing alongside the Fountain of Neptune and plenty of incredible sculptures. 
You also should visit Galleria Borghese. The Borghese Villa complex is an important art museum, home to fine art paintings, sculptures and antiques. The building itself is impressive and beautiful, so allow plenty of time to view the masterpieces and explore the villa gardens. Another monument in the heart of Rome is the Altar of the Fatherland, dedicated to King Victor Emmanuel, who was the first king of unified Italy. This monument is near the Colosseum and the Pantheon, so include a visit here during your trip. At the front of the monument is a large bronze statue of the former king, and in the base of the monument is a museum that shows the history of the unification of Italy. Still not convinced? Watch this video for reasons to visit Rome. Then, to learn about the things to know before you visit Rome, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in Italy and stay creative.